Hi, my name is Michelle and I just wanted to get on here and talk about my diet that I'm on. I, um, I've struggled with weight most of my life and I have this journal that I've kept over the years of all my different weight loss things and it's called Fat Like Me, but you can't see it. But anyway, this is just a journal that I've kept over the years and I've been as high as 293 and I've been as low as 135. Well, six weeks ago, I started a diet and I'm down 21 pounds and I've been walking three miles every day. Well, I started at one, then two, now three, and I want to go to five miles a day. And I'm just feeling so much more great from getting outside and the open air and I'm in North Carolina now where there's no snow and so I'm just enjoying my walks every day. and. I just really feel like now I'm going to do it. My daughter's happy, my son's happy, and I'm happy, and so I have no reason to sit around and be fat any longer. So I'm just going to do it this time. That's what I'm going to do. And I started out with Atkins because it seems like I always live on high protein. But I got kind of sick because I was eating too much protein and nothing else, and I almost got to the point where I didn't want to eat. So I, was, I had no hunger because of, uh, well, there's all this technology involved, this with ketones and all that, it makes you, it almost puts you in an anorexic state. Oh, if I could only have that. I know I shouldn't say that, that's not nice. But anyway, um, I wrote this poem about, let's see, what year did I write it? September of 1995, and I just wanted to share this poem, and I'll talk back later on my blog and tell you if I've lost more weight, but I'm hoping to lose more tomorrow on my way day on Friday. I become a compulsive overweigher when I'm on a diet. So I had to throw my uh, scale in the St. Joe River in Ohio and get rid of it because I would weigh myself in the morning. I would weigh myself at night. I would weigh myself with clothes on. I would weigh myself with clothes off. I would weigh myself after I pee. I would weigh myself here. I would weigh myself. I become a compulsive overweigher so I just decided to weigh once a week so I don't get discouraged. But anyway, this is my poem. Fat Like Me. I should show you some of my pictures too when I was at my heaviest weight which I really hated myself really really badly but anyway <clears throat> what does it feel like to be fat like me my weight ballooning to 293 clothes don't fit nothing looks right it seems for my fat there's no end in sight I try to diet only to fail time after time after time two pounds down two up again it seems with this diet game, I just can't win. Always the fattest in crowds of people, looking at pictures unbelieving that it's me. Why can't I do it? Why is it so hard? The diet food tastes so good and I feel so charged. But it seems that I'm stuck in this race that I'm in, hoping and praying. This race I will win. I have a new daughter and a fine son too. I want to be there in all that they do. But I feel like death is close for me now if I don't stop eating some way, somehow. My body is tired. My looks, they are gone. My energy is waning. I must weigh a ton. My self-esteem is lower than it's ever been. I'm stuck in this pattern, this pattern I'm in. Today's a new day. I'll try, try again. I pray today is the day I will win. Please, God, help me. This is my plea. I hate feeling this feeling of fat like me. And... Now, I really don't let my weight get me down, even though, you know, I'm overweight. I, I don't have the same feeling of pain anymore, and I, I don't know, maybe it's my age because I'm 50. Maybe I just don't have that feeling anymore of, of being, you know, feeling so bad about myself anymore. But uh, I don't like the term big, beautiful woman. I hate that. It's like a pet peeve of mine because they don't call little women little skinny women. They call them hot and sexy. So I just want to be called a woman, not a big, beautiful woman. I don't want no excuses standing in my way. I don't want to say I'm a big, beautiful woman and I'm hot and sexy that way because I don't feel that way when I'm a big, beautiful woman. So I just call myself a woman, not a big, beautiful woman, just me. And I'll write back in another month or two to tell you how my progress is going. But I really feel like this time I'm actually going to hit my goal. I haven't been down to goal weight in many, many years, and I just want to have energy. I want to have energy. I want to be there for my young daughter who's 13, and uh, I just want to be able to move and be free, and I just, I just want to feel good. 
So anyway, I'll talk back with you later when I find out how much I weigh in, in a, mo a month or two or something. I'll keep you informed. Oh, by the way, I'll tell you what I'm eating. Lean meats, beans, oatmeal, which I never included before, but they fill me up and I know they make me feel better. I don't get dizzy like I did on just plain Atkins. And a lot of veggies, squash. I put a, have maybe a little bit of peanut butter sometimes in my oatmeal. Very little... Well, I have some cheese, but not really too much cheese, but just a lot of veggies and beans and uh, oatmeal, peanut butter, a little bit. Banana every now and then, and if it comes to the point of having a candy bar or a fruit, I would take a fruit, even though some are very high in carb. And so I'm just trying to eat healthy and eat to live and not live to eat and feel good and walk and just enjoy being alive and enjoy what my creator gave me which are my legs and my eyes and my ears and my walking and I'm just so blessed that today I can be here to talk to you and just to be alive and just be healthy and and I just thank you for watching my blog bye now have a great day